Hey everyone, Derek Kimball here. I'm gonna do a video on maximizing boards, okay? There's a lot of misconceptions out in the industry as to why guys either do or don't do things, okay? So I just wanna clear the ear uh, that we're not comparing this type of cutting and mapping technique to traditional FAS lumbers, guys cutting, you know, millions of board feet, oak, ash, walnut. I'm, I'm talking figured curly maple, okay? So here in the state of Rhode Island, we're pulling local curly, curly out of Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire, and Southeastern Canada, okay? That's where we're getting our Eastern maple from. Occasionally we get some stuff from PA, but it just makes more sense geographically uh, here in the Northeast based on where we're located. Okay, with that being said, your, your curly logs and your bird's eye logs generally run from as small as 10 inches round on some of the bird's eye to upwards of about 18. Occasionally you get a 20, 22 inch diameter log. Um, and then from there, you have to decide how you're gonna see this. This is the part that nobody really gets into great detail. And I'm gonna go through it with you guys right now. So you have to read the log, okay? And if you've ever bought product from us and you see um, uh, a live edge side, you'll always have one clean flush side and then you may have a live edge with bark. If you're overseas, you will see no bark uh, because we do not ship any wood with bark overseas. It's a no-no. Um, anyways, based on the heart size, if there's any inclusions, knots, all these things have to be taken in consideration when you go to saw a log, right? So as good as we are, there are certain indicators based on what we can see, heart size, all that stuff. But five out of 10 times, there's always some form of a surprise. Now in the guitar parts world, the money isn't in neck blanks, okay guys? The money, uh, <laughs> the, the margins are shrinking, but the money is in seven inch or wider. Tops, carb tops, drop tops, body blanks, even more rare. Um, and all white sapwood, high figure, no defects, no hardwood, okay? That's tough to accomplish because the trees only offer up what they offer up. This board you're looking at here was one of nine boards cut from one log. It was a masterpiece log, had almost no heart. Um, so 14 foot long, we cut it in half because we don't cut 14s on our mill, and which is fine. We're in the guitar parts world, so we work in two, three, four foot sections at a time. And... It was just consecutive boards after boards after board of just amazing bright white sap, as you can see, high curl figure. And so I got to the one board here and we, you know, we're making a decision how to cut this uh, ahead of time. So if you look at this board, it's relatively clean, right? And you look at this end grain, if you can see it, there's nothing visible that tells you, hey, you should expect what you see here on the underside. So now I'm going to flip this over, if I can do this with one hand. Okay. So in the middle of this, it had bark trap, which followed up with the conclusions. Okay. And so now I have decisions to make going, oh crap. This is why I leave the, it, the tapered side. I don't square off the logs. If I had squared this log off and cut right there, we would have never made blanks wide enough to do LPs, okay? And if the taper is too dramatic and the tolerances are too close, We'll cut this and I'll make drop tops out of that because I'm unsure that this bark trap doesn't go in at an angle. I don't have that answer. Some things like this will give you, you can peek through and see that. It'll tell you more or less where it's going to go. Sometimes you don't get that luxury. So that being said, this is why we cut the boards this way because I'm able to squeak out a neck blank here, top top, neck blank, this is all junk in the center, top, neck blank, right? And if guys like me didn't know how to, one, read the log, two, 
um, map out these boards correctly, I don't even talk about profitability. You run the risk of going out of business if you do this over and over again wrong. So it's really important um, if you ever see anything tapered, that is why, because sometimes you need that extra space. You know, when we go to, to resaw these, now this taper isn't too, too bad, but it's there. Some are more dramatic. It really depends where the board's cut. Remember, the log is round, so you're cutting, and you want to take that all into consideration. But we never saw that coming. That, there was no indicators whatsoever in the tree, in the log, that that was even there. The bark trap stops literally right there, and nowhere is it is shown. Anyways, my name is Derek Kimball. I'm the owner. Please support and like this channel. Hit the notification bells subscribe we appreciate all the support so we can continue bringing you guys some amazing products Kimball Hardwoods